So now you've created your course, added some basic resources and made the course available to your student. You're probably ready now to set some work for them to do. A quick and simple way to do this is to use a task. A task is for giving learners something to do that doesn't involve submitting a piece of work online. For example, read pages 35 to 40 in the textbook or spend 30 minutes practicing shading techniques in your sketchbook. In fact, you've been completing tasks if you've been doing these tutorials. If you wanted a piece of work to be returned via its learning, you would need to use an assignment. We'll be looking at assignments in the next level of this program. First, you need to add a task to your course. You can do this in the same way that you added files and links, by clicking on resources and clicking the add button. First, I'll go to my course. Go to resources, click on the add button, scroll down and select task. Give your task a title. And add your instructions for the task. You have a rich text editor which will allow you to add images, YouTube videos, record audio or video directly into the task. Just click on the More Options button to see the tools. For example, in Modern Languages, I saw the thief and have students draw an identical picture from what they hear in their books. A lovely way to practice listening skills. Then just decide if you want to set a deadline. You can either have a specific time at the end of a specific day or at a specific event. So if I set this for a particular day, we'll have it at the end of Friday. And if it's a homework, tag it as such. That's basically all you need to do to set a task, but there are some other options. Click on Show Options to expand the page. You can link to a file in your Google Docs to set a collaborative task or you can add a file that you want your students to use, for example, a worksheet for them to print and complete. You can choose your file from your computer or from the cloud depending on where it's stored. The task by default will be set as mandatory, but you can change this if you want to. A mandatory task will be trackable in the, in the progress report. This task will be visible to students as soon as I save it. There are a few options though. For example, if I'm setting up my homeworks in advance, I can hide this one until I'm ready to release it. Or set a date in advance for it to become available. Next are the Assess and Evaluate options. If my task something like, for example, build a model of a volcano, I could set this option. When I've seen the student's model, I can set the switch to completed to record this in its learning. Let me just save this task a moment to show you what I mean. When I save the task, I'm presented with a list of the participants of my course and next to each one I can see a completed switch. In the example that I've just given with the model of the volcano, once I've seen the volcano model, I could just click to say that that particular student has completed it. I'll just go back to my task now and open it for editing again. I use the three little dots in the More menu and click on edit. Let's just go back to the settings that we were looking at under show more options.
I can also opt to let the student say when they've completed the task, just like you've been doing with these tutorials. The teacher switches then change automatically as each student flags that they have completed the task. In each case, I can add a simple text comment Or I can click on the pencil to open the full rich text editor to perhaps add an audio or video recording for my feedback. If I want to assess the work, I select this option. In this case, I can select the assessment scale I want to use. These scales are customizable by your organization so if you don't see the one you want, have a word with your its learning administrator. Once I've saved the task, it will be immediately sent to all the participants in my course, provided I've left it active. My students will see it in their home page, along with any work that's been set from their other courses. Here's the homework that I, task that I just set and tagged with the homework. It will also be displayed on the overview page of this course for the student. And on their app. They can then click through from any of these links to read the task. Once the task is marked as completed by the student or the teacher, or assessed, it will transfer to the student's list of completed tasks. If your school or college has given accounts to parents, they, they too will be able to see any tasks you have set via the parent dashboard and soon via the new parent app. 